just woke up because it's so light and I freaked out thinking that my alarm didn't go off. And um, it's only, I looked, I checked my phone, it's only five o'clock, but um, it's so light outside. So, I'm thinking I'll probably get up anyway and make a move. Shitty weather, but I'll still head out to Lucky Bay to suss it out. It's meant to be Australia's whitest sand, so we will see. Would have been, would have looked nicer in sunshine, but oh well. We'll see. One thing that I'm loving about van life is um when it rains like I don't even really wake up anymore I woke up last night when it got um a bit heavy for a while it woke me up but um I was just like oh, it's raining and then fell back asleep because um you just don't have to worry like you do in a tent um well, some people are heavy sleepers, they don't care anyway, but when I sleep in my tent and it rains, I don't sleep very well because I'm always wondering about, like, I'm always thinking, is is it coming through? Is stuff, you know, touching the walls? Um, yeah, I'm just always worried when it rains when I sleep in a tent. Yeah, it's all good in the van. Nothing to worry about. Sometimes when I'm staying in like busy areas, busy spots, caravan parks, whatever, I just put up those bits of cardboard at the window. And yeah, I had one at the window as well, and the door. And I didn't worry about that window because yeah, my bag's there and there's no one really there. So. I'm so glad I chucked in this jacket because I, mean, I, I, mean, I don't really want to wear it outside in case it actually starts raining because it's down but <laughs> I'm thinking I really need to pee and I don't have anything warm like heaps warm to put on there like I, don't know, I have some warm clothes right at the bottom of my bag but um, then I'm like ah, I remember that I, I threw this under the futon to say Winning! <laughs> Definitely an oats kind of morning this morning, so I'm gonna have my quick sachet, my quick oats. Yum. I'm gonna try something a little different this morning. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna pour these, pour this into my bowl, boil up the correct amount of water, pour that in my bowl, and cover it and let it sit. And I'm hoping that that will just um, cook it without me actually having to like cook it in the saucepan and dirty something else because I'm lazy. I actually want it to be boiling though so I might have to annoy the neighbours for half a minute or so. that I want to wear today and go over to the toilet and get changed. 
so when I'm getting ready to go for a shower, I usually have, like, inside my bag, I'll have a shower bag. So in here I keep, like, my pyjamas, I've got knickers, a towel, and I chuck my toiletries in there, so all I'm carrying over is, like, this little bag. And it just kind of makes life a bit easier, rather than carrying, like, everything, my whole big giant bag. So yeah, I'll just take that over, go for a shower. Alrighty, oh, let's see if it works. Ooh, looks good. Thickened up. That's pretty much how I eat it anyway. Excellent. Found another easy way to cook my quick oats which makes them not so quick because on the stove like takes a few seconds, half a minute. But if you do something else like I just did, I just went and got changed. And then when you come back, your breakfast is ready. Yay! I have this little um, spice jar thing which is pretty cool. So I've got six compartments here. Um, so down the bottom here I've got some cinnamon for my oats. So you just open up the one you want and then slide that around. So it's just done like the one that you want. And yeah. Yum. Gotta have cinnamon on your oats. That's better. Yum. chilly though. It's a little bit windy so I don't know how this will sound. And it is starting to sprinkle a bit so I don't really want to get my good camera out. Yeah, it's nice. Pinnick area.
so and I did the Great Ocean Drive and that just led me to Maccas anyway. Well it led me to a sign for Maccas, so except now I have a leaky coffee. I've just stopped in Hope Town, spelled T O U N. Um and I'm just gonna make myself a sandwich and just pull it up here to enjoy the view. It always rain. <laughs> Damn clouds. <laughs> so this is home for tonight and Pretty much right outside my door. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I'm meant to pay for this site. There is an office here. It's like an old shack, and there are a few other sites here, and they're, they're numbered. So it actually seems pretty organised. I thought it'd be more just a, a 
bush camp with like no designated sites or anything. But um, yeah, I guess um, I don't know what will happen. I don't have any cash on me, so if someone comes around, uh, yeah, I don't know if they don't have like I don't think there's any reception out here, so they're not going to have you know um, an F class machine or anything. So don't know. Surely they wouldn't kick me out and make me drive all that dirt road back and then another 100 k's to Albany or whatever. Yeah. We'll see. So now though, but first, Back to basics tonight, I'm using my little black diamond lantern thing and all I did for dinner was boil some water to put in my pasta thing. So um, yeah, just pour the boiling water in, let that sit and cook because I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered doing anything else tonight, so. Yep, basic, basic tonight. <laughs> 